Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Jason. Jason was abandoned at the age of five years old, but yet he sits at this table in hopes that one day his family will return to eat apples and bananas with him. Little does he know that Jason's family has been across the street the whole time watching TV. That, my friends, is the sad story of Nuketown. Jam, are you wearing no pants and a Batman shirt? Why, yes, I am. So I have a story, but before I tell the story, I just want to say I am not gay. Nor have I ever been gay, nor do I like boys. I kiss girls. I like girls. So anyways, Back in about first grade, I had a friend named Carlitos, a very close friend, a very close friend, if you catch my drift. Carlitos was a man, in case you haven't figured that out by now. I really have no way to beat around the bush in this story. Beat around the bush. So I'm just gonna get straight to it. One day, at my birthday party, I decided I would reach out and grab Carlitos' nutsack. Like, just grasp it. Like, full-on grasp it. Not like a little, like, but like... I really got it. And for some reason, I thought everyone would think that was funny. Clearly, no one thought it was funny because I was never allowed in any of those children's houses again. And that's the day I realized I clearly have problems. Poor Carlitos. Probably traumatized for life. So today, me and my friend at work got told by our supervisor to stop harassing the customers. Because when hot girls came up, we would be like, Yo, bro, you got her number? And I'd be like, no, not yet, just taking her order. And he'd be like, all right, make sure you get those digits. And I'm like, I think she's into me. While wow, they're standing right in front of us. We probably could have got fired, but it was definitely entertaining. Ha! King Puffer killed me? More like King Faggot. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just burned him so hard. He's going to need so much ointment to clean that stain off of his shirt. What's that, Puffer? You need ice for that swelling? Oh, sorry. Let me just put some hurtin' on those nuts. I think it's safe to say I got him quite good. Every group of people has a place they reside. The druggies reside in the drug houses, the homeless reside on the streets, and the snipers reside in Nuketown. Ladies and gentlemen, today's economy in a nutshell. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the book of sniping it says thou shalt not skip Nuketown. Yup, here it is, right on page 10. Oh wait, this is, <laughs> this is a fashion magazine. Here we have Goth Ike Dude. I think he wanted his name to be Goth Like Dude, but he forgot the L. As you can see, he is a true warrior. Favorite weapon, AK-74U. Over his time in the army, he has amassed a great 41,593 kills. Born blind, it was a struggle for him to shoot, but for a blind person, I think a 14.05 accuracy overall is quite swell. You know what's better than actually playing Call of Duty? Not playing and watching funny cat videos. Like on this video, a cat just tried to jump over the fence, but he failed. What a stupid cat. 